I really need a haircut. Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I'm going to be doing my, what is it, February wrap up and March TBR. Uh, hopefully this actually gets up relatively on time. I'm kind of filming it on time. It is currently the 3rd of March, by the way. The 2nd of March is Texas Independence Day, so... Happy for that? What do I say for that? Yay for that? Celebrate? I don't know. So I'm filming this on time, but I don't know if this will actually get up on time because I still have a book haul that I filmed... like the beginning of February, I want to say? And that hasn't gone up yet. I haven't even edited that yet. So... We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm not doing too hot with the whole booktube thing right now, but I'm, I'm still making videos and posting sporadically. You get at least once a month, right? I've done at least one a month. That, that's decent. Yeah? Yeah. It's decent. Okay, well the first book I read in the month of February is This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. This book is about people whose names I don't remember. Um, Graham and Ellie. And they meet online. Am I like really white right now? Do I need to close my eyes a little bit? I'll see. I think that helps. I don't know. So technical with my lighting, guys. I have blinds. Oh dear. Hmm. Anyway, so this book is about um, Ellie and Grant, and they meet because Graham is actually trying to email a friend to watch over his pet pig, but he mistyped the email, and so Ellie gets it, and that just kind of sparks the conversation between them. But what Ellie doesn't know is that Graham is someone famous and Graham ends up in her hometown and then it's just kind of about them meeting each other and all sorts of stuff and it was cute I liked it. It was one of those books where I don't really have anything like great to say about it but I did enjoy it so I'd recommend it it's just not like absolutely amazing if that makes sense but it was good I, I thought it was cute the way they first met and then their romance was pretty cute. Just not if you're looking for a cute lighthearted read, this is a nice, very cute, very lighthearted read. And I really enjoyed it. The next book I finally read is Winter by Marissa Maya. This is the final book in the Lunar Chronicle series. <sighs> it was it was it was a long, long journey, guys. Very long journey. If you don't know what Lunar Chronicles is about, I like to describe it as the first one is called Cinder, and it's a retelling of Cinderella where Cinderella is a cyborg, and then I just stop explaining there. So just know it's retellings of fairy tales with like spacey kind of things going on. It's cool. It's really, really cool and really, really good. And I think, hmm, I, I don't know. Cress and Winter are neck and neck, and I don't. I don't really know which one is tops right now. They're both so good. Winter, I think Crest might be top tops because Winter took me so long to read. And so, not okay, not only is it like, you know, the last book, a lot of stuff is happening. I was very anxious because like, like a lot of stuff is happening and there's still so much of the book left that I, I was very anxious while reading this. It, it gave me so much anxiety, but it was such, a good book, such a good ending to this series. I love it. Heartbreaking at points. Oh my goodness. I maybe Winter is my favorite. I don't know. Winter and Cress. Basically, just get them all together, and I am on board. You know, what? I think Winter because Winter had Winter, and Winter was great. That was a confusing sentence, but it makes sense. So yeah, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I really like the series, and I really liked the ending to the series, which leads me into the next book I read this past month which was Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, which is the like short stories about the series. And I wasn't knowing what to expect going into it. I had a feeling that there was some like aftermath. She also told stories like from before and I didn't know that she was going to do that and so I really enjoyed that. That was great. But I also, you know, really, really enjoyed the the, the last little story with like, you know, the, the wedding and all that and I can't say anything because it spoils everything, but and, and my favorite couple is I, I, You know what? I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there Well, I, I do have a least favorite um, I do have that I won't bother saying who but you might be able to guess who because I think I mentioned it before anyway the favorite though, that's that's hard Hmm, you know what? We're just gonna not even go there. I don't know what to think. <laughs> I didn't think I would get to read it immediately after winter because I was de getting it through my library's 
ebook lending system and I had to wait for it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to wait for this. And so I like read like two pages in this next book and then they're like, you have your book. And I'm like, oh yes. And that was a very accurate description. I made that exact face and motion and it was, it, was, it was great. But yeah, so winter and stars above both get it an A++. They were both great. If you haven't read the Lunar Chronicle series, you need to, because it's so good. So good. The next book I read is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. I only have one more of her books to read. I need to read Mansfield Park. Um, and honestly, after seeing Maureen Keevy's review about it, I'm kind of hesitant to go into it because I love Jane Austen so much. And this book wasn't my favorite out of hers. I did like it, but it was very different from her, all her others. It almost felt like a Charlotte Bronte novel in the sense that there were like these mystical elements with like the house and stuff and she wasn't quite sure what was going on with some of the people and so it was like she was trying to write a mystery but not like a mystery mystery so like a Jane Eyre Charlotte Bronte novel which I'm not opposed to but it just didn't seem like Jane Austen exactly and seem like the Jane Austen I know and love and so this book only got like a four out of five stars for me still really liked it still really enjoyed it um but not not as not my favorite out of hers this is probably out of the ones I've read so far my least favorite of hers basically um good enjoyed it but it was not the same Jane Austen I was used to and so I was kind of like Liked it. Not my favorite out of hers, but I still liked it, so. Oh, this next book's gonna be a doozy to talk about. So this next one is Every Hidden Thing by Kenneth Opal. And um, you can already tell by my tone that this is gonna be a, a good, good time. Good time. So this book is about archaeologists, and they are on the hunt for dinosaurs, and it's these two rival archaeologists and one has a son, and one has a daughter, and so there's kind of a Romeo and Juliet thing going on. Uh, but basically, um, yeah, they're they're hunting for dinosaurs, there's Romeo and Juliet romance. Uh, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna try my best to complain without spoiling. We're gonna see how this goes. Honestly, okay. I apologize, but I feel like I only make reviews when I didn't really care for a book, because then I have more to talk about, because I'm like, well, that was good, but see, and this was happening, and what was going on here? So I think I might just make a review for this book. In fact, should I? I don't know. Let me know if you think I should just make a review for this book. Basically, very, 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 hmm, very insta-lovey. Um, which at first, I wasn't complaining too much about, but then at one point, it was kind of like, but at first the book was kind of like, you know, okay, this this is good, nothing great, nothing amazing, but you know, it's good. And then like there's a point, and it's like right here, there's a point where, you know, I'm reading it, and something happens, and I'm just going, what the And there was this one character who, for the most part, I was like, ooh, I like you. I, I can get behind her. I... You know what we think alike, and then she does something. I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait. You were doing so well. You were doing so well, and then what? And then the rest, they're like, okay. Let me let me say something. That everything that happens after what happened is totally understandable. Like I don't have a problem with it happening per se because it's what realistically would happen. I'm just mad that it happened because they're being so ridiculous and so childish that I just want to punch them. So, okay, let me know why you just make a full review about this and then just rant because I feel like I can't completely complain without spoiling the book. So just know that it was, it was a good book, but it it's like, what was what was the title of that book? What, you know what? I think I made a review for that. I will leave that down below. It's like that book. What is the name of it? I don't know, but I read it, and it was a book where I was just the whole time like, what are you doing? Okay, I think I've talked about this book long enough. So basically, I mean, go for it, go read it, but you'll be annoyed probably. <laughs> okay, so that is my wrap up. What was that, like five books, you know? Pretty good. 
Uh, so now on to the TBR. Alright, so I haven't finished any books yet in March, but it's only the third, so it's fine. Um, what I'm currently reading is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Yes, Lisby, I'm finally reading this. It's good so far. I'm not very far. I'm on cassette 2, side A. Uh, if you've read that, I'm sure you know what that means. Um, I guess I should mention, um, I was reading Michael Vay, Fall of Hades? Yeah, that's the sixth one. So I was reading that. And I've kind of DNF'd it, um, not completely, but I was reading it and it was just, it was very, very young, if that makes sense. I was reading it and it had a very young tone to it, and after a lot of the books I've been reading, I just, I don't know, it felt very juvenile, felt very little. I don't know how to explain it. So I temporarily DNF'd it. I would like to finish the series because I've enjoyed it so far and I own some of the books and I don't like not finishing stuff that I'm reading if unless I really have to. And it's not that the series is like going bad or anything, it's just like I'm not in the mood for middle grade right now. So uh, putting that out there, I started that and you probably noticed if, if you follow me on Goodreads that I started it. I just kind of, I put it off to the side a bit. So. Okay, what else am I- oh yeah. Um, other stuff that is on my TBR. Uh, but these are kind of definite on there because I want to get to them soon. So I feel like I'll probably get to them this month. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, but the first one is The Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams. This is the second book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. Look at how yellow these pages are. There is absolutely no way to describe Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy except for the fact that you need to read it. That's... There's no way to describe it. I mean, the title kind of explains it too. It's a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There you go. Then there. That, there's your summary. Go read it. It's amazing. And this is the second book. So hopefully I get to this this month. That'd be nice. Uh, and this other one I have is one that... Okay. Backstory again. Book club, for those of you who don't know, my library is hosting a book club where we don't actually read a certain book each month. We just go and talk about books and they have books for us to take home and either keep if we want to or we can return it and get another book. And last month, or the, no, the month before last, the first time we went, uh, Liz, we got this book and she read it and so now she's lending it to me so I can read it. And that book is The Lightning Queen by Laura Rassau. I don't know. Uh, don't ask me what this is about. I don't know. I just know there's something about tickling a duck to life. And that apparently it was funny. Um, yeah, I think it's something to do with like gypsies. And I will figure that out as I read it. So, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm excited though. I'm tickling a duck to life. That's, that intrigues me. To put it lightly. <laughs> okay. So, and that is it for this video. Uh, sorry, this one was kind of... I don't know, was I chattier than normal? Was What, what was different? I felt... I, there was a different vibe for this video, I feel like. I don't know. That might just be me. Anyway, uh, comment below, let me know, first of all, if I should just make a full review, spoiler review, uh, for that book. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job of explaining my problems with it, but I feel like I can go more into depth if I can just, you know, talk about the actual characters instead of just like theoretically. So let me know what you think about that. Um, also, let me know, I don't know, something else. Uh, what's your favorite kind of pie? Let me know that. I like making pie, so my favorite is pecan. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I can't see my thumbs. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all again another one soon.